She is pretty great. I gotta clear that out up top, and then we're back to here. <coughs> What's up, Entropy? How you doing, buddy? Welcome back. Welcome back, and happy Monday. I hope you're well. Alrighty, got a little fat butt going. We're breaking even on electricity because we we got four ions going. In fact, I think we're losing energy, but at a very incremental, very in insurmountable, not insurmountable, but negligible amount. That's a good word. I had to think of the word. It's fancy. I think I have a kidney stone. I think that's what the unknown pain has been um, for the last few days that I didn't know I had. So that's fun. It's only on one side, though, so that's probably a good thing. <laughs> but it's good. Hey, as long as you're enjoying it. Trigger Man, I've had quite a few in my time. I'm hoping it's not too bad, but it's going to hurt for a while, probably. <clears throat> but yeah, the pain sucks. Not the best thing in the world. That was me running into Eve. Nope, we got to go further than that. We're currently 25 energy flow. We should be plus energy as we get closer to the sun, obviously, because these will be more effective. Oh, I know. I know. I had my first one when I was 19. And then um, back when I had testicular cancer... They found ones that were so big they had to go with a laser and shoot them up. And I didn't have insurance at the time. So what the doctor did was anything that got added to the surgery was rolled into what the cash payment that I made. So what he was going to do was he was going to discover them while he was putting in a stent and cover it with the, with the surgery cost, which was great. But that was nine years ago. Have I ever had the ultrasound bath? No. I don't know what that is, asymmetrical. Wowie, yep. Welcome to me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I've had quite the, the turn of events in my time. Hi, Sile Kill. How are you, buddy? Welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Got the little ions going. So we actually almost hit this pretty straight. To break up the stone? Yeah, I don't... I. That sounds expensive. <laughs> but that's pretty cool, though. Good for them. How, how new is that technology? Because that sounds really cool. Twenty years ago? Yeah, I've never heard of it then. <laughs> I've, I've never heard of it. That must be in some of them fancy places. I'm over here in, in, in the south. Does anyone want a corn dog? No, I'll pass, but thank you for the offer. I appreciate it. Good looking out for me though. Does anybody want a corn dog? Hey, Blair, you want to see something? You want, you want to see a cursed image? Hold on. Stand, stand by one second. Well, it depends on how big it is, um, Trigger Man, for sure. Let me open this. Here you go, guys. Ready? And cursed. I'm a corn dog. <laughs> That's back when I wore headphones. 
I think that picture was taken when I was doing the, the Hot Ones challenge. Well, there you go. That's me as a corn dog. That's like a three-year-old image. Right, Entropy? That's what I said. Hot. <laughs> Don't eat me, Blip. You've had too many corn dogs in your life? I've sworn to never have another one again. Well, I mean, they're pretty good. Not gonna, not gonna lie about that. They're pretty tasty to have on a snack. I've always wanted to try. They have like the the corn dog bites now, the hot dogs and like the the balls. I've always wanted to try those, but I never. We never had enough money when I was a kid to buy those. You can get you a corn dog, Lucky Charms. They're gross. What's gross? Corn dogs, Trigger Man. You're from the UK. You guys have weird tastes. Homemade beard battered corn dog. Okay. Interesting. I'm running on very limited sleep, and it's not because I didn't go to bed on time. I went to bed on time, but then I only got like three and a half hours of sleep. I took I took 20 milligrams of melatonin, went to bed, and only slept three and a half hours. Then I was up most of the day, and I took an hour nap before stream, and right now my eyes are burning because <laughs> I've only had like four hours of sleep. You should try to get sleeping pills. That's what melatonin is. Melatonin's the the chemical in your body that makes you sleep, that your body generates to get you to go to sleep. What's weird about Marmite and Toast? Yes, that entire sentence, Trigger Man. That entire sentence is what's wrong with that. Exactly. He went to bed at midnight and woke up at 3-ish with an allergy attack. I didn't wake up with an allergy attack. I just woke up. And my eyes were open and I was like, hmm, I guess I'm awake now. This is my life. And I just kind of... I laid in bed for like an hour and a half to try to go back to sleep and I didn't. And then I got up and I ate some breakfast and then... Ultrasound. I've been taking it for a week and I've been sleeping fine. But last night I just went and I was up at four, after four hours. Or three hours. I should train my circadian rhythm. Oh, Ultra, you're the last person to tell me what to do with my sleep. You love the corn dog? Good. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Ultra was up until 4 o'clock this morning streaming. And she's like, you should fuck on your sleep. Sure. I'll just go, don't go hide. But it would be like me giving you diet advice. It's like, Taradra, you're a 450-pound man. You shouldn't be giving diet advice. Trigger man, I know I'm not going to Google it right now. I'm streaming, but thank you. I'll keep that in mind in the future. Well, let me close that. What day was that image saved? November 12th. Cool. You were up until 4 vibing. I'm one of the few people that gets bad side effects from melatonin that's been out the door for me. Yeah, I I do pretty well with it. It's just last night it was just wasn't meant, wasn't meant to be. When will you start working on the comet capture? Never seen someone do it. When a comet actually comes in range, we don't have a comet anywhere near us right now. I'll have to probably do some time warping and stuff to get a comet around. What could the question marks be on the map? Asteroids. They're all asteroids of different sizes. You have to scan them with a with a a specific thing and it shows you what they are. They go all the way from size A, which is tiny, to size E, which could be anywhere from like 900 tons to 4,000 tons. And depending on what your ship is, you, you can't move it. Oh, if they're size F and H, they're comets. Okay. That's what they did with the comets then. But yeah, we'll have to get uh, something out there to scan them. I can't scan them right now. 
But yeah, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm not worried about it right now. But that's going to be something that we have to kind of piece together a ship in the orbit of Kerbin and then fly it out to the comet and then grab it and bring it in or something. Do comets get moved by craft's gravity? They sure do. So comets are just like asteroids. They're treated as parts. You can grab onto them. You can walk on them. And when you grab onto them, it becomes part of your ship and you can move them. So sure, with enough with enough thrust, you can move it. It's not really the gravity; it's your it's your thrust of your vehicle. But yep, you can sure as hell move them wherever you want. They're just really really big, and it's gonna take you a really long time to move them. <laughs> I think I think we just we, need, we I, I think ours, ours just needs to find a comet, right? Yeah, capture a comet, which we can probably do that with just um, ions if we really wanted to. Yeah, Dirt Jonas, we have one of those in my hard mode save, and I really, really tried to do it, and it wasn't, it, it wasn't working. We didn't do a very good job with it. So at the moment, for anybody wondering, we're kind of just ignoring this. This is a, this is a safety save to see if this ship is good enough to actually capture Moho before I go wasting my time. So we're gonna, we're gonna completely capture Moho with this to make sure it works before I do anything. And if it doesn't, then I'm going to cry because I don't understand Moho. I can intercept Eve just fine. Duna's cake. Drace is fine. Jewel's good. Elu we're headed to right now. For some reason, Moho just wants to be a little turd. And I don't like it. So we got about 300 Delta V left in the burn. What is rocket fuel? Does it need oxygen to burn? It depends on the rocket. If it's ion, no. It needs solar power and xenon gas. If it's nuclear, it only needs liquid fuel. But if it's any other engine in the game, then yes, it needs um, oxidizer and liquid fuel. Yeah, Dirt Jonas, I've never had a gravity assist go right for me. In, in, the, in the 13, 1400 hours I've played this game... Every single gravity assist has been utter garbage, and I don't, I don't use them. It has to be you know, right there, Ponja, that command. Yes, everything we, we launch from Kerbin from has to be fifty, be less than fifty tons. It could be right on fifty, which we've had one craft be that way. But we've had a lot of crafts: forty nine 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 five, forty nine 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 nine. But if it's 50.001, we have to shave some weight somewhere. Blast well, started a free for all. I'm in. Let's go. So we got about a, 30 seconds left on this, and then we're going to go around and fix our. The, the next burn should be what ends up. Like, I, I don't think we have enough Delta V. We're down to 5,000. I don't, I don't think we have enough. We've already used almost 3,500 Delta V to, to get to this point here. Hi, Mr. Energy. How are you, buddy? Welcome in. Three days in a row, you're spoiling me. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, next burn is going to be right here. And it's going to be to bring this down. And then bring it in. Closest approach, 80,000. Forty, thirty, twenty, fifteen. All right, there's Moho. Let's go see if we can't get right on it. See, we shouldn't be coming at it from this angle. We should be coming at it 
from the side maybe, right? This seems a little extravagant. We're gonna need a lot of Delta V to, to catch this thing. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna go like this down to there. And all the way, here, here's the other ship that we ran out of Delta V on. You're spoiling yourself too. All right, we're gonna put it there. That's 1145, and then we have to capture it. Which is another 2897 Delta V. All right, so we should have enough. We should have enough. Let's just double check everything to make sure. Let me just double check everything to make sure. All right, so this one's gonna go to this burn here, which is 127 days out. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna be a lot closer to the sun, so we're gonna be way up on power. Hi, son. How are you? You know what? We could just run with this since we have 19 days to Kerbin to Eve. If this actually works out, we should be fine. Now, while this is burning, I'm going to run to the bathroom. So enjoy the mighty and awesome satellite. And dirt, Jonas. I mean, when it comes to these really long burns, dude... Not really much you can say about it. But this is this is orbital mechanics. We're experiencing it live. And sometimes you gotta do a 20 minute burn. At least the ion engines are not as weak as the real life ones. I mean, they might as well be, right? Well, if this was to a higher scale, I think the longest burn I ever had was a two and a half hour burn. And that was in the hard mode save. We had a two and a half hour burn. And we just set it and forget it for a while. Jonas, I don't know if you were here earlier when we were looking at the helicopter that I made. But I made a helicopter that had infinite electricity on EVE. And we actually flew it halfway around the planet in my hard mode save. It took 18 hours. We broke it up. We did three hours per stream for like five or six streams. It was pretty cool. But the way I had it set up... You, you would just set the direction, have it fly, and then it was hands-free. It just, it just flew. So we used the time to kind of bond a little bit and talk and answer questions and everything else. Like right now. We could talk about whatever you guys want for at least another three or four minutes. Hopefully this is the last time we have to go to Moho in this, in this save. This technically has to come back from Moho also, but I don't think it's going to be able to. Just looking for different biomes. It was quite a trip. Yeah, the longest I've driven in a rover... I've driven... A, I've, I've driven... 116 kilometers, I think. Was that on Duna? I think that was on Duna. I drove 116 kilometers. Banana? No, you. Is that what flavor the custard is? Was it banana custard? Banana. Banana. Oh, 
all for just 500 units of fuel. All this crap here. We actually had to ship this out in two pieces, too, because of our 50-ton challenge. We shipped them in two pieces, and we made them in the orbit of Kerbin, which is why there's a docking port there. We had vanilla custard. Gotcha. Because before I put this on here, it had 11,000 Delta V. Then when it grabbed this, it had 8,600. We've already used 4,000. And we're not even there yet. Are we there yet? No. <laughs> we're not there yet. If we had these on this part here, we could abandon this and just run it back. But since we're going to be empty fuel, we might actually get enough Delta V back to go back to Kerbin. Now that I'm thinking about it, we, we might be okay. There's a whole lot of different things at play right now. <clears throat> when is... um. When is Moho to Kerbin? 129 days from now. The ions can be super specific. We'll get it right on the nose. And then we got to go capture. We'll get the capture one set up and then we'll put it in the alarm to go do because i don't want to rush it now we'll get the eve stuff out i want to land i, I want to get gilly done today that's one of my goals for today's stream is get all the gilly stuff done that way we can get all the money from that and then we'll have like 10 million dollars and we can do whatever we want with it three two one zero Okay, so this is apparently the next burn. We're going to take that one out. We're going to set up our own. Have you tried using the transfer window alarms? It seems like it just gives random dates that have nothing to do with the actual transfer windows. That's what I've been using. But it, but it, they, they've been lining up with, with all of the other stuff here for the most part. They've been lining up for the most part with the things that we're using. Doesn't mean it's one hundred percent accurate, but it, it's three thousand delta V. God, that sucks, huh? Let's uh get ourselves in range of this rover at least. That way we can kind of meet up with it and refuel it. They've been wildly off. I mean, what what do you use? For, to play in your windows and stuff. Course correct now so your approach is lower orbit. I just did course correction. I don't want to go lower orbit. We got to rendezvous with this. I, I need to rendezvous with this ship to refuel it. That's why this, this ship exists. Uh, this is Moho uh, Rondes Boos. I just kind of know the right planet alignment. Okay, well, that doesn't help me. Why not intercept at its altitude? Because I'm not guaranteed to hit it on that point when we first burn in. We got, we, we got nothing but time, Very Inky. I don't need to be precise right now, dude. We just have to capture. There, there's no way to guarantee an intercept as soon as we get there. The orbits are too elliptical. And I would, I would have to... Um, I would have to get our... Um, Inclination matched too. Our inclination's off probably five degrees or so. And I can't do that from here. It's more to save delta V by burning at low af. So what you're saying is do this? Is that what you're saying to do? What's the difference between doing it there and doing it when I get there? 
I don't understand what you're telling me to do, Very Inky. I'm confused. You want me to add the the five delta V here or five delta V once I get around? We're not gonna we're not gonna intersect it or anything. Help me understand what you're trying to say because I don't I don't know what you're trying to say. You're assuming we're gonna meet right up with it, and that's not what's gonna happen. Do a small course correction now so that your approach APO will be at the same altitude as your targets. If anything, you'll be closer to the planet so your burn will be more effective. Do a small course correction now so that your approach apoapsis will be at the same altitude. I don't know what approach apoapsis is. So if I, if I turn this maneuver off, we don't have an apoapsis. My apoapsis is, is out here around the, the sun. I don't know what you want me to do at the moment. Hi, Kyle. Welcome back. All I have is a periapsis. So you want me to match the periapsis with this periapsis. But what if I, what if I don't want to do that? What if I what if I don't want to do that? What if I'm content with being here because our inclination's off? It's not going to matter where we end up at. The the 5 delta V this is going to save us isn't going to be a make or break. I just want to get the damn thing around it. Yeah, it's not going to matter it's not going to matter dick all around Moho. I'm fine. I'll just I'll just do what I'm doing here and we'll figure it out when we get there. I'm not interested in trying to get the the 5 delta V is not worth it guys. I'm just going to get it around and we're just going to match it up. <laughs> 